Welcome back to the Broken Sword. Um, last episode, we had to... Well, I had to end it with pretty short notice. So let's see if we can uh, do any advancement this time. If I remember what we were doing. Hold it right there. Oh yeah, Waluigi. Nothing. Okay then. Uh, if we have the card. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. Did we? Sh I show? found this matchbook in Merlin's bedroom. It came from the club Alamut. I mean, it might be. Yeah, we saw that. Did I we showed the pass to the clerk, hoping oh. he'd give me Merlin's papers. But he wouldn't buy it. He's too scared. I'll give him something to be scared of. Follow me, George! I still don't like her. Did you place a package from Merlin in the hotel safe? I did, madame. And did my friend here show you Merlin's identification? Indeed he did, but... What's the problem? He isn't Merlin. A mere academic detail. Give him the package. But that is against the law. I happen to be a justice of the peace, you silly man. I am the law. If he tries anything, shoot him, George. My pleasure, Lady Piermont. One moment, please. You know, I haven't enjoyed myself this much since Greenham Common. I don't know what I would have done without you, Lady Piermont. Voila, monsieur. Le manuscrit de monsieur Merlin. Thanks. How satisfying. An Anglo-American alliance that actually worked. The clerk had given me a tightly rolled sheet of parchment. I decided not to unroll it until I was safely back in Nico's apartment. Hmm. Okay, then. It was the ancient manuscript which Khan had stolen from Plantau. I feel like we cannot give this to Waluigi. So... Is there anything we can do in here? Can we throw it out of a window or something? Maybe. Well, I mean... Okay. Because they've been patting me down every time I go out. I knew this was no way to treat an ancient manuscript, but I huh. couldn't let it fall into the hands of the goons waiting outside. Yeah, I mean, I kind of guessed part of that, but... Nice. I didn't... Well, yeah. I could have just thrown it out of the window. Oh, well. Pat me down, Waluigi. Pat me down all you want. No, wait, it's not. It's the warrior one. What was he? Lens, flans. Hold it right there. Search him again, flap. Flap. <laughs> Nothing, Guido. Okay, let him go. Guido. What? That's Waluigi. If the manuscript was what Flap and Guido were after, they were going to be disappointed. I couldn't wait to get back to Nico's apartment and check it out. Nice. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi. Come in, Josh. Josh. Well, well, well. How have you been? Do you have a boyfriend? Not anymore. There was someone. A guy in my final year, but it didn't work out. Neither did my degree. I'm sorry. I'm not. But I'm... Tell me more about your family. When I was a little girl, I used to spend the winter with my grandfather and grandma. They were the best times. Warm and safe in their tiny cottage. My grandfather rolled cigarettes while grandma made hot chocolate and cakes. One day, he stopped his groaning. 
He put the lid back on his tobacco jar and took me in his arms. I laughed and wriggled, but he hushed me to be silent. With his unshaven chin all scratchy in my ear, he told me his secret. What did he say? He said, I don't smoke, but she likes to think I do. What a weird old man. Don't call my grandfather weird. He was the nicest guy ever. I wish I was back in that cottage instead of this crummy apartment in this noisy city. Okay, then. Let's talk some business. What are you doing to help trace the killer clown? Research, George. Yeah? You have a copy of the clown's yearbook? I have a telephone and lots of contacts. Oh. Well, did you find anything useful? Not yet. I'm employing my first and most useful weapon. What's that? Patience. Oh, I've heard of that. Isn't it a substitute for decisive thinking? Also, <clears throat> one of those two options was added in this definite in this edition because the recordings were so different. Also, can I show you my stick? This is the tool I used to get into the sewers. Is this the same? Fascinating, George. Yeah, I think that's the same thing. How come you enlarged? Because. Okay. Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, no. Hey, Nico, shake hands with me. No chance, Buster. I found this matchbook in the killer's hotel room. It's from the Club Alamut. Never heard of it. Is there anything written inside it? No. What were you expecting? If this was a movie, there'd be a clue. A name or an address. That's no use. There aren't even any matches in it. Oh, well. I'll keep it as a souvenir. But I'm... I mean, it has the club's name. I found this in the killer's room. What is it? A credit card? ID. Thomas Merlin of the Gruber Electronics Corporation. Never heard of him or the company. Hmm. She seems... I don't know. I thought she'd be a bit more excited for me to find out who the killer is and what, it, what he works for. <sighs> oh well, oh well, let's give her the ancient scroll of the Templars or something like that. You're just not going to believe what I've found. It's not another part of the clown's costume, is it? It's a medieval manuscript. Khan left it in the safe at the Ubu. It's incredible. Is this what he took from Planta? It could be, which means it's worth enough to kill for. Look there, two guys on the same horse. Oh, yeah. Maybe they couldn't afford one each. What of it? Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? Their official seal was an image of two knights sharing a horse. Whatever this manuscript means, it's connected with the Templars. How come you know about these knights? I learned about them while writing an article on the Crusades. Oh. This guy, oh. named Hughes de Payen, arrived one day at the court of King of Jerusalem. He offered to protect the Christian pilgrims from the displaced Muslim armies. The king would be able to guarantee safe transit to Christians in the Holy Land. Safer journeys meant more pilgrims, and pilgrims meant trade and wealth. The Templars proved invaluable to the king as a mercenary army. It was said that they never asked how many the enemy numbered, just where they were. And as the years went by, the Templars grew in wealth and number. They were so rich. Even kings came to them for loans. But at the height of their power, they fell foul of the king of France. He rounded them up and turned them over to the Inquisition. Thousands of Templars were subject to torture and confessed to heresy. Of course, at the end of the Inquisition, there wasn't much they wouldn't confess to. The last Grand Master Jacques de Molay was burned alive. Jeez, so the treasure is hidden, waiting to be discovered? If there ever was a treasure, it's been lost for 600 years. Anyway, we're supposed to be investigating a serial killer, not a medieval treasure trove. But maybe that's what the clown and his accomplices are after. Maybe this manuscript is the key. 
You'd better leave it here for safekeeping. That was um pretty abrupt. The music just got sent. Maybe, actually, maybe it was added in. I don't know. It it feels like it could have been added in. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Again. Oh, I can actually look at it. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. The only mythological bull I know of is the Minotaur, but he was only half bull. I don't think I'd like to be half a bull, even if it was the bottom half. What's that object between them? It looks like a gem on top of a tripod. Also, that could be a Minotaur, since it only shows the head. There's a guy working on a loom. He's weaving a carpet or a tapestry. Or a duvet cover. It's a clue to a place, I reckon. Somewhere famed for weaving and ships. Where folk live in barrels? It beats copper boxes. Yeah. A knight with a crystal ball. There's something written on the scroll beside the knight. Yes, but it's written in Latin. Per disciplinum mea lux videbis. By my teachings, you will see the light. You speak Latin. Where did you learn a trick like that? A trick? I studied law, okay? I can read Latin. Ma, you're touchy. Tell me that again. <laughs> oh, my. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. She reminds me of the Wicked Queen in Snow White. She was the one who said mirror, mirror on the wall, wasn't she? She made me cry so much when I was a kid, Mom carried me out of the movie theater. She didn't frighten me in the least. Like I said, I was only a kid. I didn't like the crocodile in Peter Pan either. Hmm, yeah, I don't like it either. Not that I'm scared or anything, but I mean, I just don't like it. Look there, two guys on the same horse. Let's face it, we need help, George. <laughs> Someone who knows about these things. Who do you suggest? Indiana Jones? I know a guy who specializes in medieval studies. His name is Lobino. Huh. Some stuffy old fossil who gets horny over ancient relics, I suppose. Far from it. Andre isn't stereotypical professor you have in mind. Where can I find this Lobino guy? At the Krun Museum. I'll give you the address. And on to the next spot. Also. Are you sure you've never heard of Thomas Merlin? Positive. Let's take another. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. There's a but the ref There's a guy There's a guy between Okay a knight with a night scroll through my teaching Look at Eh Fine I have to go Okay Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Krun Museum Let's go to museum Also Hello there Oh hi Hello, my handsome friend. I mean, I like that model way more than I'd like this portrait. Can you tell me anything about this security pass? I can tell it doesn't belong to you. How come? Give me some credit. If you're an electrician, I'll eat my antirenums. You're a remarkably talented lady. <laughs> Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. But I can tell you one thing. There's no such place as the Club Alamut in Paris. Well, actually, that might be helpful. Would you like to shake my hand? No, I wouldn't. I can see the future, remember. But, but, if you can see the future, that's not going to happen. How can you see it? Eh? See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Do you constantly see um, how the world changes? You see every single timeline there is. Well, on uh, to the museum. 
I doubt that's the man Pardon I'm looking. We oui, monsieur. King four. Are you Lobino? Oh no. Fancy you mistaking me for him. No. I am the deputy custodian. But Lobino does work here. Work? I wouldn't go so far as to call it that. He studies here most days, but as you can see for yourself, not today. Hmm. So about... Do you recognize this ID pass? No. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? Oh no, I don't frequent places like that. Okay. Would you like to shake my hand? Would you like to shake my hand? Uh, not while I'm on duty, monsieur. What do you mean by that? What do you make of this tissue? It is absolutely disgusting, monsieur. Do you recognize this red nose? I don't think so. <laughs> do you uh. recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. Is there any reason why I should? I guess not. I mean, it's me. Don't you... Don't you recognize that George Stobard Nick? What does this tool mean to you? That belongs in a museum. Pardon? It is a priceless historical artifact, if I am not mistaken. No, it's a plain old tool for lifting drain covers. And what about the... Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me for one. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park the... No, no, no. They assume I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is... I am no scholar, not like Monsieur Lobino. Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. Mm, do, did the Templars make sausages? Thanks for your help. Well, 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 let's go and touch stuff. I bet he's gonna stop us. In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. <sighs> It was identical to the tripod yeah. pictured on the manuscript. A notice identified it as 15th century from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marne at the site of a Knights Templar preceptory. Ireland! What's that? This tripod was found in Ireland. I will have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. <sighs> oh well, to our land we go then. Soon enough, I think. Leave it alone. That closet is over 3,000 years old. Closet? Closet? It's a sarcophagus. Well, well, well. Not much to do here, I think. Attention! Please do not open the window, monsieur. Don't you think it's kind of stuffy in here? Better stuffy than dead. What's the problem? Fumes from car exhausts? Not just that, monsieur. There's a new bag of bar opened up across the street. The Laughing Buffalo. So what's the problem? They cook their burgers on a shackle grill. And the fat falls on the open flame. The amount of organic compound and smoke particles released is astounding. Since they opened, local air pollution has doubled. And it stinks like a funeral pile. That is why I keep the windows closed. Okay then. <clears throat> Which might mean that we have to go check it out. But what is this totem ball? Uh... Okay. The totem pole looked distinctly out of place in the setting of the museum. Yeah, it is. Watch out! You will have that down on top of us. Watch out! Watch out! What? 
Watch out. Okay, fine. Watch out. Hmm. Maybe I will have to. Pardon me. We miss you. Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, monsieur. It's infamous. That tripod... That belonged to John D. Hmm. What's the importance of John D's tripod? D was the most famous escapologist of the 16th century. The Odini of his time. Don't you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. Well, whatever he was. That is the tripod he used in his experiments. What kind of experiments did John Dee perform with his tripod? Oh, the usual. Uh, didn't you study chemistry at school? Yeah, but we skipped over thaumatology. I can actually talk quite a lot about, about this, apparently. Can I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case? Ah, uh, no! That tripod is protected by a sophisticated surveillance system. How sophisticated? A painfully loud alarm bell. How is the alarm bell triggered? By the slightest pressure on a movement of any part of the case wherein that tripod is situated. It strikes me that to call your alarm system sophisticated is... Well, stretching the truth a little. It has never failed yet. The sophistication is in its simplicity. Hmm. Yep, true. Thanks for your help. Then let's go and poke it. As I reached toward the display case, a shrill piping filled the air. I froze. Then tried to get myself together and act nonchalantly. No, miss you. No. Eh, no. Okay, okay. How about this? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I gotta go out. At least for a while, but this music says otherwise. Yeah, I doubt there's anything in the police. How about the cafe? Um, can I give show him the card? Hi there, remember me? Ah, who? I. Uh, so I yeah. Fine. Oh, nothing here. Okay, then seems like there's nothing to do here. Back to the museum. Can't go back. So what do I use to use on what? No miss you. Okay, okay. No miss you. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I gotta hide in there at some point. Okay, and next up. Watch out! Yeah. Watch out! God. Gosh darn you and your Watch out! Knees. Mm. Okay. 
please walk. No, no, no. No, miss. Okay, okay. Don't come. Oh, man. <sighs> Watch out! Okay, so... This is ridiculous. I could be here for hours. Okay, so that's kinda right, I think. Don't even you'll be suffocating. I always wondered how it felt to be a mummy. Eh. Too bad you'll be a daddy. No miss you okay. Maybe this Do we first gotta open the window, then shake up the place? Okay, good. This and maybe it works. Watch out! No, it doesn't. Hmm. Watch out! Yes. Watch. I doubt there's anything I can use on anything. Unless I wanna mash, mash that. No. Also the goat. I wonder why I can't use the hint system. Even if I wanted to. Walk away. Then we run quickly. Do it. Okay, the wind did nothing. Do I just go in or? This is ridiculous. Hmm. Well, well, well. I'm not quite sure what to do. So I think I'll end the episode here. Just so that the last few minutes won't be... Actually, last 15 minutes won't be me just... Wrecking my brains around this puzzle. So, yes. On the next episode, let's destroy a museum. Until then. Bye-bye.